Today we're going to be creating these beautiful gradients in Figma with a little bit of a noise on top of them and I'm going to show you also how to animate them and you're going to see it's uh, really easy. Um, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to bring these colors over to a new page over here and I'm going to just like draw some kind of like random shapes here. Um, something like that. The cool thing about this is that you can be like really random with, with your shapes and it, it will be just fine. Um, something like, like, I'm saying like really, really random stuff. So, um, yeah, so let's make them all just gray for now. Um, okay, so now that they're all here, I think, oh, they're not inside the frame. Okay, now they're all inside the frame. Um, I'm going to just grab these colors that I have over here. Actually, I'm going to do that. Right. I'll switch these two. And then the other thing you want to do is draw a rectangle on top of that frame. Change this color to, I usually just change it to white, but I think any color will do. 1% opacity here, and then make sure the opacity is on the fill and not on the layer. And then we add an effects and do background uh, blur. And here, I think usually a good value, like 160, something like this. So yeah, it's already smoo smoothed it out like real nicely. Um, I'll just name this blur. And look at how cool and easy that was. So let's just like name our layers here. So we got the orange. Uh, the next one is the red. This one, which one is this skin? This is the pink. And then this one was the blue. Um, all right, so this is really cool, but there's a, a little trick that I think makes it even cooler, which is adding this like texture on top. So um, I'm going to grab this layer here that says texture and bring it over. And that makes it like really nice. Um, I love this like grain effect here. And the cool thing about this grain effect is that it's a image tiled so you can make it as big as you want and it will always be displaying nicely like if you just make it really big um, and also the other cool thing is that you can kind of change the how coarse they are you can go like maybe like 40 and you see how like it's more like noisy which is really cool and this I grabbed this uh, effect I grabbed from the community uh, it's like the gradient bloops by Benedict um, so I'll put the link of, for this in the description as well. Um, and that's basically it. And then the cool thing about this is that if you have to edit the colors of the gradient here, um, it's pretty easy. So um, let me move the video. Um, so basically here now we have the, the gradient color. So if, let's say if I just wanted to change this to um, this blue. Um, wait. Yeah, so if I wanted to change this that to that dark blue, um, let's say this all changed to the darker red, this one the lighter red, and the pink, let's do the darker blue. Um, and then here I can just kind of, I'll lock these so I can just control the blobs over here and it's really nice, I can just move them. Um, and the other cool thing is that you can kind of play with the opacity. By the way, if you hit the numbers on your keyboard, it will change the opacity. Um, like if you see over here, it's 80. You can, this is like 100. If you do 6, it's 60. Actually, that was 3, but if you do 6. Um, yeah, 6 seems like about, it's kind of nice. Um, and I actually don't like this color as much. Yeah, so like a little bit, this is like looking already much nicer. Um, 
and then the way you can animate this it's very easy so let's just do like three actually just do these two for now uh, shift E changes it to prototype um, let's do this after delay I'll do one millisecond you know do like 2600 here it's already there because I used in the other one and it ease in and out and then do the same thing it's just select the frame the same thing back let's name this animation um, and then here you can just kind of play around with the thing you can kind of maybe change the opacity this um, and move things around here and so let's maybe do another one this one actually should go back to this one and this gradient 2 should go to this one uh, I didn't have to really redo this because actually I do need to do on the lay. I forgot to do on the second one. But basically, I copied all the prop the animation properties from the the frame that I duplicated it from. One millisecond, twenty six hundred. Smart animate, ease in and out. Uh, and this should work. Let's see. Well, it got so dark now. All right, and it's working. Oh, I see that the, oh, I guess it just took a second for the, for the noise to kick in. I hope it's showing well in the video. Uh, I think like because I'm recording and everything, the, the noise maybe it's like quite a bit to process because I made them like kind of large. Uh, let's try to change that and see if it helps. I'm going to do the texture here and change it back to 20% and do that on this one as well. And then hopefully we'll play a little bit better. Yeah, it's still playing nicely. I hope that the, the noise is also translating well in the video. Um, but yeah, this is how you create the, these really nice gradients in Figma and how you animate them with Smart Animate. Um, let me know if you found this helpful or if you have any questions and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.